That video, just some of the video that got the Rutgers basketball coach Mike Rice canned. He was fired yesterday after ESPN aired video of Rice exploding during practices, using homophobic slurs, grabbing players, kicking them, humming basketballs at one player's head, for example. Now, you got Jimmy Martelli, who's an assistant Rutgers men's basketball coach. He, too, is resigned. But now, some are asking if others should be fired as well because Rutgers knew about Rice's behavior. And that tape, they knew this all back in November, something the university's president admitted in the statement he made following the termination. Quote, when video excerpts of basketball practices were reviewed last fall by athletic director Tim Pernetti, he immediately notified me. This again, the Rutgers president went on to say he sought the advice of internal and outside counsel. Yesterday, I personally reviewed yesterday. Finally, yesterday, he reviewed the video evidence and he went on to say it shows a chronic and pervasive pattern of disturbing behavior. I've now reached the conclusion that Coach Rice cannot continue to serve effectively. Now, the punishment back in the fall, it was a three game suspension and a $50,000 fine. And Rice was ordered to attend an anger management classes. University's AD, he apologized for waiting this long to fire the coach saying, quote, I was wrong. All right, I want to bring in Christy Duffy, who's been on the campus of Rutgers covering this story uh, since yesterday. Christy, would you say the majority of students, faculty, people you've spoken to say it should end here or that leadership at Rutgers should also be shown the door? Well, Rich, the majority of students that I spoke to here on campus say that they feel that the president should be able to keep his job. The athletic director, they're a little unsure of, and they coach the coach, they feel definitely should get the can, which, of course, he already did on Wednesday morning. But uh, there are a number of faculty members now who are growing louder and calling for the university president, Dr. Robert Barchi, to lose, her jo to lose his job. I actually have a letter here from some of the faculty here on Rutgers campus about about 20 faculty members have now signed on to this letter that is demanding the immediate resignation of President Robert Barchi. They call his handling of the Mike Rice scandal, quote, inexcusable. They describe Mike Rice's behavior in this letter as, quote, homophobic and misogynist. But they say that it's Barachi's lack of transparency about how he handled this whole thing as insensitive, they say it's arrogant, and that he is uh, has that approach to toward a lot of issues concerning diversity. They go on to say in the letter that the president uh, only fired Coach Rice after the media's attention on this scandal really forced his hand. And the students that I talked to here say that the coach and the president's actions leave them feeling disappointed doubly, not only with the coach's actions seen on the tape, but also with the president. But like I said, some still feel the president should be able to keep his job job listen in to what they had to say as the president of the school you want him to be a leader and not a reactionary and you want him to have made this decision before it became a public media spectacle I want him to leave uh, I want him fired I want him to resign I, he needs to go the fact that we have to have these town meetings and he's canceling he's rescheduling that he probably should go as the president he should you know, when he sees something wrong, he should act on it right away, not wait until everyone knows. So it just looks worse for him. And of course, like I said at the top, it's not just the president, but of course the athletic director that is in hot water as well. Many state legislators have called on him to lose his job or at least have the leaders here seriously consider cutting him loose. In addition, we should also mention here that Coach Rice was paid a total salary of $622,000 last year and that the university owes him about $100,000, a bonus that they are contractually obligated to pay him this month for finishing finishing out the season. That's a bonus they wouldn't have had to pay him if they had fired him any sooner. Uh, both the athletic department here on campus as well as the university have not released any updated statements or comments today in regards to any more firings or any more action the university may take. Live at Rutgers University in New Brunswick, Christy Duffy. Rich? Christy, great job. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I'm putting the four of you on the board of trustees at Rutgers University. Um, this much we know. The tape record, first of all, the coach knew that he was being recorded at practice, okay? Um, tapes made available, <coughs> AD gets it, immediately goes up the food chain, at least he did that much and said, guys, what do I do? Um, coincidentally, Rutgers was in the process of leaving the Big East to go to the Big Ten with huge payouts, huge television contracts, and everything else. They decided 
suspend a guy for three games. They wouldn't tell the media at the time. We were asking why. Um, and fine him 50 grand and do the classes. We now know after the fact, after they got in the Big Ten, I'm making an issue of that, uh, that, oh, yes, um, there's gambling at this uh, establishment. Should the AD get fired? Should the president get fired? I don't believe in the death penalty. I didn't when I was for criminal cases. And I watched these things. This was bungled. This was wrong. Horrible decisions were made. Mistakes were made. Is the answer to every one of these high-profile cases, shoot the guy who made the mistake? Well, the answer is sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. And I don't think we know enough to know anything uh, 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 seriously. Usually uh, I think you're right, but I think in this case there's enough facts and evidence. We know the president knew in November that he could be rehabilitated. Remember, the just quality one thing, Richard, of mercy is, is not strange. Fair enough. It dropped Richard, it from heaven. This is the same school, okay, and Dominic, where right. remember the Rutgers basketball team and Don Imus and what happened to him after what he said and how the university rightfully was so offended at the language directed towards their student athletes. This is the same university where Tyler Clementi, through cyberbullying, through homophobia, ended up jumping off a bridge in part and they said never again will we tolerate this intolerance and stuff. You heard what that coach said. Um, I asked the same question I asked to the assemblyman to you. Would you can the president and the AD or not? Well, I, I don't know what you'd be canning the athletic director on. I agree with Richard. Uh, the president perhaps should have looked at the tape sooner, but he didn't. Should've. I don't. Yeah, I mean, it but, to, it was but bungled. It was but, but but I I do agree with that. And I mean, we're never honest about these things, Richard. The coach had to go. This is all big money in sports. That's what this is. Half of the coaches. Uh, yeah. Half, of, Half the coaches. of the coaches. Half of the coaches. <laughs> the homophobic <laughs> environment. Half the coaches you can be what? indicted. Here, here's the problem. The athletic director saw the tape in November and was okay with a three-game suspension and a fine for the coach. But now that it's a big public stink in April, it's fire the guy, Todd. I mean, to me, that's, that's the problem. If it's, if it's, it, a, if it, if it's see, a fire... Here's if we're, not, if we're living in la-la land right now. If the school owes this guy $400,000, do you think they're just going to walk away from that contract? Well, they to pay him no, less they Dominic, fired him in November. No. Dominic, time out. They're paying him, like Andrew said, a hundred grand more than they would have paid him. This is about money. It's about a different thing. It's about the Big Ten. Yeah. And this is, and but this, is, this, the, is the, about, this is the PR hit that Rutgers is taking. The the only reason they took action now is because they're it's embarrassing to the school. To, and so and, and that shouldn't change the absolute fact of oh, what's really? on the tape oh, in really? the eyes of an athletic director who's supposed to be looking after the students and all of this. Oh, oh, and, and, and Bill, and for the Bill student. you do some crisis oh. management, some folks. The idea that the president, somebody comes to you after Penn State and says, I got a videotape here that's unbelievable. You got to see what this coach is doing. He doesn't look at the tape until two days ago. Yeah. First of all, I think anyone... It's a state university, by the way. The taxpayers are paying, you know. The, yeah, any, any, anybody who saw the tape and didn't immediately vote or, or work towards firing that coach, I think has to go himself. Any, anyone seeing that tape. Now the, now, the, now, the president... I don't know why the president didn't see the tape up until two days ago. I don't know. I just don't have the facts on that. But if you saw that tape and didn't determine that that guy needs to go, I the think you've got to... You should we you have no cherish business. in public life, Nelson Mandela... Other people like that have taken situations where people committed infinitely worse deeds and decided that where they can, they're going to try to rehabilitate and show mercy and restraint. It, the, the, Only you could manage to take Rutgers basketball and bring Nelson Mandela <laughs> into it. <laughs> but where, it's good, I was though. like, where is he going it's, it's with good. this? Amen. It brother, is good. It's you know, good. But you it's not good. They did CYA you know, here right now, and they're just going to throw the coach to the curb because he was a the, freaking the, lunatic. The, the, but now they're going to let everybody get a pass um, because they got into the Big Ten. They're not getting the pass. Of course what they are. What matters is that the guys who did wrong, the did AD did those and the president, Take responsibility for their failure because they fail. One thing, and one then thing. you ask the question: kids, What is your kids kids on that team? And he's getting manhandled. They're throwing. I mean, the Richard Brodsky I know. If it was your kid who was called a are you, suge and are you suggesting I approve the behavior? No, I'm suggesting that you would be in that office of that president and that AD and I, say, you, fill in the blank language, tolerated my son. You probably have a lawsuit going the, right now. The, and I'd like to think that I try to figure out what the appropriate punishment is. It isn't always the death penalty. All right. We take a break right I now. Kill him, when we come him. back, <laughs> we're going to bring you an update on an issue that there actually may be more consensus here than not, and that has to do with guns in this country in the aftermath of Newtown. We still haven't been able to pass 
a single piece of federal gun control legislation. Amazing. Nationwide, though, believe it or not, we're passing laws that actually weaken gun restrictions. We're going to talk about that after this.